Shouldn't be too hard at all. Sure. A snap, maestro. Only, uh, where do we start? Right here. Welcome back, everybody. You're looking at an AWA Radiola Champion 5. Model number 527MA, made from 1950 to 52. And here's the chassis. So, nice... That's not a bad looking radio, really. I, I don't think, anyway. Uh, and this one's in, um, the chassis is in very nice condition. And, um, what have we got? What have we got? Uh, we've got our volume, tone switch, tone dial, sorry, <laughs> tone on off switch, uh, tuning dial there, which this needs a restring, and uh, our band selector from broadcast to pickup. So, you know, plug in that uh, standalone record player and uh, listen to your favourite discs. So, let's have a look at the back. So, here's our five valves. What about 6A8, 6AR7? Oh, I can never remember that little one way back there. Uh, but anyway, 6V6 and a 5Y3. And guess what's on this one? actually has the plug for the turntable. How cool is that? That's an American top plug. Or North American, should I say. Very, very cool. It does, does it only go one way? Oh. Does it? No. Either way, no polarity. So, let's have a look underneath, see what we're dealing with. And I do have a little bit more information on this that I've been told, but bring it up. I think you can see, just as I can, this is completely original. And I'm telling you what, that chassis is in, well, mint condition. That's great. No oxidization on it whatsoever. And uh, I love these big black caps. Look at the look at the big crack on that one. That 0.47. Um, so we've got a filter cap there. That'd be what eight microfarad. I know there's a cap can somewhere. Oh, there it is there. And um, that should be 16. Now, what have I been told about this? I'm told that the power transformer gets hot. Oh, pardon me. So, um, I've just put an X on it, just to let me know that, so I can remember. Um, and there seems to be some, ugh, I guess that's pitch, it's been oozing out of there. So, um, what I'm going to do with this one, I'll get some uh, power attached to it. See there, it's been cut, so um, yeah, we'll attach some power, we'll just power it up. Um, I'm not going to give it full voltage, and um, I'm going to see if if this thing does heat up. Uh, and if it does, well, I'm going to change it. And luckily, I have one of those transforms there in um, in my stash. So we'll get that power going, and we'll, let's run our tests. Okay, got the power hooked up, and uh, might as well attach a multimeter and look at one of the filter caps. And let's give it a bit of power. Let's see what we get. That's, I've got it at 100 volts. Well, certainly the transformer's working. And I'm just going to uh, feel it wherever it is. So far cold, I guess I'll have to give it more power than 100 volts. Oh, well, here's my current limiter, so bang-o, 160 volts, we've got a problem, real problem. So, let me, first off, first off, 
Let's just pull the rectifier valve out, 5Y3, and um, eliminate that as a possible cause. And now let's turn the power up again. Um, now, I think you can see that short is still there. So, I'm guessing at this point it probably is the um, power transformer. However, it's worthwhile just checking for a, an obvious short. So let's get rid of this and that. And I'm just going to do a couple of uh, capacitors. So let's see if the uh, filter caps are. No, that's all right. That one's okay. What about the cathode? No. Um, blah 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 blah. Should that go to earth? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to trace this uh, this green wire and find out where it's going to. So just give me a second. No, that's okay. That green wire. Um, it's just an earth wire. It goes to the body of the uh, speaker. And the speaker is a uh, a field coil as well. So earth, earth. They're okay. That's Earth, that's all right. Uh, let's have a look at that. So, oh, sorry, you can't see. On the, um, what's that, 6AR7? That's going to Earth. Try to see. whether it actually should be going to Earth. So um, again, I'll just um, nose around there for a bit. Now, and that one's okay too. Those uh, three, well, four pins, they're um, connected and they are definitely going to Earth. So that's okay. One of those should generally be Earth. Oh well, no, that's okay. Looking good. Can't find anything at the moment that would indicate. I'm pretty sure that's it's got to go to earth. Can't see. Yeah, that's okay. Nope. Of course, that's. Oh, you can't see. I'm sort of going everywhere at this moment, but everything's looking good. So, um, hmm, I'm going to do, before I um, undertake, undertake a transformer replacement, I'm going to pull all the valves, and just curious, again, oh, this is sort of a, I haven't experienced this before, um, so, yeah, I'm sort of just flying blind at the moment, just trying different things. Trying to eliminate as much as I possibly can. All right, I pulled um, four of the valves out. I'll lift that little one in there. Um, let's turn it up. No, I've still got the short. Although it's... Oh, shit, we've got... We've got a spark. Oh. Way down there. It's on the uh, 5x3 socket. I know you can't see it. Um... I'm just going to have a look. Okay, here's the 5i3 socket. Um, they're pins um, 4 and 6, so that's HT. And I'm looking here, and uh, there's one HT line going to that um, pin, and there's second HT line also going to the same pin. And then there's another wire branching off going to... Oh, I think that's pin 4, that's pin 6, yeah. Now, I wouldn't have thought that um, I would join both HT lines up 
and connect them onto one pin and then just branch off. Um, it seems rather strange to me. I think you can see, yes, you can just see it there, that other wire now coming to there. And it's, they're both connected, these, both, both these wires are connected to uh, pin number six. All right, what I'm going to do is the obvious. I'm going to disconnect that wire and join it right up to pin, um, pin number four. Huh, can't think of anything else to do at this point. <laughs> but anyway, that might stop it, I hope. Oh, God, you should have seen it flash. Okay, I've just um, snipped off the wires and um, I'm just going to run through the... Uh, connect them and run them through the multimeter. And we'll see what happens when we give it some power. And I'm at 80 volts. I might burn the multimeter out. I th I've got no problems here. There's the uh, current limiter. And it's quiet. It's not even glowing. So, I'll bring it up more. That's 240 volts, and I've got no problem. Okay, I don't understand this, because um, the way that's set up, originally, that's from the factory. And I'll make sure the power's off before I put my little fingers in there. And there's no doubt that, um, that that wire there was definitely, definitely soldered there. Or if it wasn't soldered, it was just touching. Um, and let's face it, the uh, insulation's pretty crappy. So I'm going to put I'm going to put it down to my second thought that um, the insulation had come off, and we were just getting short there. That's what I'm thinking. So. I'll um, fix these wires up, put a bit of insulation on them, s solder it where it should go, and um, we'll give this a test, and this should work. Okay, there's my solution, and just shrimped it, keep it, um, <laughs> fix up that uh, perishing um, insulation. That one's not too good either. But um, anyway, got the valves back in. I just wanted to show you what I've done. Let's get this thing back up on its side, and let's turn it on, and I'll just again monitor those caps, fill the caps. I need a camera operator, honestly. Right, and I will, I will, I will, I will get that antenna wire. Just a second. Okay, here we go again. I'm hoping the problem's resolved. What's going on here? Nope. Something's wrong. Got voltage going everywhere. Oh, let's go to DC. That would help. <laughs> okay, that's um, 200 volts. Current limiter is uh, dead quiet. She's alive. Turn that volume down. Okay, here we go. Manually do it. Nice. And the tone works. Nice. And the on-off switch works too. You beauty. Well, there we go. That was the problem. 
Now, the, the, yeah, the owner said um, the transformer got hot. And that's what he told me. Or I think that's what he told me. Um, but he was also looking at that black pitch that had oozed out of one of the uh, ventilation holes. So, um, unless he was told that by the person he bought it off. I don't know. Anyway, anyway. Um, solved the problem. And luckily, luckily, it was easy to see since it started sparking and a little bit of smoke there. Um, and problem solved. Okay. <laughs> Too easy. I, th I really thought I was going to have to do a lot to this. Um, this thing's working like an absolute champion. And it is a champion. Champion 5. Um, I'm just going to recap it and I'll come back. And uh, But I'll tell you what, notwithstanding any other problems that, are, that might come up, um, check out today's commercial. George, I'm hungry again. Let me guess. A spaghetti omelette. No, nope. caramello. Oh, that's easy. There's some chocolate in the kitchen. Well, chocolate won't do, George. I want caramello. It's got caramel. Oh, there's a box of caramels downstairs. Caramel won't do, George. I want the caramel inside the chocolate. Caramel inside the chocolate. Mm. Where'd I get a caramel from this time of night? Well, you could try that all night place. The one you got the spaghetti omelette from. Why didn't I think of that? Well, how could I tell him I wanted two? Sometimes it just has to be caramello. Hey, so go get yourself a caramello. They still make them. Good old Cadbury's. Like caramello. Well, the radio's finished. Um, as I said, it was uh, it was an easy job once we figured that short out. And um, here it is now. This trend coming from a mile off. Works well. He's joining us in a moment. Matt Garthwaite. He's from Matt. And I noticed one other thing. I'll just bring the camera around. And you can see it there. It's got a well, roughly a three and a three and a half mil jack um, for the pickup, which is really cool. So I thought, why not? Let's plug in my uh, Bluetooth adapter. And I've got my phone ready. Let me just get it up. All right, and we'll go to. Oh God, I can't can't move that uh, select the switch by hand. That should work. Right. Here it comes. Let me just turn the volume up. Not bad. Of course, that's not a three and a half mil jack. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, but it works. It works quite well. So I'm just going to leave that alone. And, uh, oh, geez, switch back to the radio. If I can. Anyway, anyway. As you can see, look, I think I did a pretty neat job, actually. And it's quite easy when the um, original original uh, build is, is done in a very neat way. So it's easy to follow. But anyway, that was fun. Uh, <laughs> not much to show in this video, except, like I said, the beginning with, you know, a bit of smoke, some sparks. And, uh, and that was great. Just simply, you know, deteriorated insulation. And, um, yep, just jumping across and arcing. Great stuff. Anyway, thanks guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all again very soon. Bye-bye.